Hello guys, welcome to ITCSC ICT tutorials. In this video, we are going to do presentations task 19D. Task 19D, uh, you need to add a new slide between 4 and 5 of the presentation that you saved in task 19C. The slide will contain heading, ease of use, chart and this bulleted list. Uh, task 19D, uh, it looks like this when you complete. Uh, this is the task 19D. In this task, we are going to add a slide between 4 and 5. Uh, this is the slide you have to add. So, uh, this chat, this uh, slide will have two parts, two sections. Uh, one is like text box, the other is a chart. Okay, this is what we have, you need to add in slide 5. Okay, we have inserted this slide. And uh, you need to apply the styles in slide master. So finally, um, the, you need to go to the primary slide master. The final outcome of chap, uh, task 19D is like this. Fine. Now we'll do task 19D. To do task 19D, you need to open you need to open task 19C. All right, task 19C. Just look at this. So this is task 19C. In this, they ask us to do uh, add a new slide between uh, four and five in the presentation. Look, this is slide four. And in between, you have to select and go to new slides. From here, you have to take the uh, slide which, which layout you want you can take. So, in this one, we have to take comparison part or you can take even content with caption. So, the better one is comparison. After taking this, you have to make sure uh, there should not be overlapping of text boxes. There are too many text boxes here. We need to delete that. Okay. Delete. Select the text box. Delete. And rearrange these two uh, object boxes like this. And this is the heading. We need it. Just reduce the size a little bit. Make sure this should not overlap. This is very important. Right? Fine. So, in this one, we are going to add a heading ease of use. Ease of use. And in first part, you need to write bulleted list. What we are going to type there, just look at the question. Uh, it says 86% of students found it easy to use. 86% of students, percent of students found it easy to use. Found it easy. To use. This is bullet one and second bullet you need to type uh, 120 students in the sample. 120 students in the sample. This is what you need to do. Okay, we have done with 86% of the students found it easy to use. First bullet and the second one is 120%, 120 students in the sample. Now, second part, use this data to create a chart and uh, we have to use text like easy. This is the data, easy, 103, difficult, 12, no response, 5. Then show the percentage of students in each category. So uh, here in this area, 
in this block we have to insert chart look at this here you can insert a, a table chart kind different kind of objects you can insert so here we are going to do chart click on chart then select a suitable chart for this example suitable chart is pie chart because they ask us to show it in percentage so one whole uh, you have to take from that you have to take percentage therefore this is the best option when you select ok you will get uh, excel file along with that but this data is not suitable for us we need to edit this data so in cell b1 you should write students because this is student data we are entering and in cell a2 uh, you type according to this easy this one easy 103 in cell a2 yes easy 102 and next one move to cell a3 and change it to difficult 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 uh, how much is that 12 it should be 12 and no response the third one no response how much let me check it's 5 so when we keep on entering the data automatically the legends down you can see easy difficult no response and the graph is changing automatically automatically okay and we do not need this fourth quarter can you see we do not so by holding this handle we can just move upwards so it is removed from here even legend has moved and we have only these three things then close the data so here we have two parts in it one is uh, chart the other one is bulleted list this is what we need to do it okay let's move to last part of this question uh, there is one more right on slide one add the heading hints and tips and add the subheading for IGCSE students so you need to go to slide one so these all are the, this everything what we are doing is in normal slides not in slide master so when we are typing any data should be in normal slides applying styles should be in slide master keep this in mind okay now here we should write hints and tips hints and tips for igcse students IGCSE students. Okay, let's read this. On slide one, add the heading, hints and tips, and subheading should be this one. Okay, and this should be uh, title. So there should not be a bullet list for this. Therefore, select, right click here, go to layout, and take title. Layout. Yeah, we are changing the layout. Now look at the layout, how it is, incentives. Fine, let's move to last part of the question. Set the following styles of text throughout the entire presentation. Now heading, you are going to change it to dark blue, serif font, left align and 40 points. Similarly, you have to do it for subheading and bulleted list. Heading, dark blue, serif, left align. This is uh, for applying the styles, what did I say? You need to go to normal slides. You cannot do any, you cannot apply any styles here in first slide. So go to master slide. And when you go to master slide, make sure that you are in primary master slide. That's the slide number one. And in this one, this is called the heading. And these are called bulleted list. And subheading is this one. Okay, now heading should be now apply the styles heading size uh, 40 points left align 40 points should be 40 
t points lift align dark blue dark blue and uh, serif font times new norm serif means times new norm so because it will have, it have curves at the end of each can you see the curves here so this kind of text font style is called serif font fine next mm, dark blue serif font left align font one that's it now let's go to subheading blue sans serif center align and 30 points so where is the subheading in the second slide and this is called subheading or this is called subheading so it should be blue color or we'll take uh, They will take this one. blue and sans serif center align. Center align already it is center align. Sans serif. Sans serif. This is a sans serif font. Or aerial also you can take aerial. And the size should be 30 points. How much? 30. That's all. Heading also completed. Let's go to bulleted list. In bulleted list, uh, we have black sans serif left align 24 points. Black sans serif, this is already sans serif, uh, 24 points. Oh, sorry, we need to do, uh, I'm really sorry. We need to do the settings for bulleted list, not for this one. Go to slide one. Okay, this is a bulleted list. For this, you have to make to black color and 20 points. And is it 20 or 24 points? 24 points. 24 points. Okay, then. 24 points left align sans serif aerial left align that's it so we have done with heading bulleted list and subheading all right so we have completed these three styles we have applied all the styles now save the presentation so we have done with the presentation. So once you finish with this, and make sure this uh, name and slide number should appear in the normal slides. Just go to normal slides and check how it looks. Look at this, right? So incentives color has changed according to our slide master. Okay. So this is what we need to do. Once we have finished with this, save this as. Save as, sorry, click save as, the same chapter 19 folder, Nine, task 19D, let's say, because 19D is already exist, save this and just look at this, there is no name and slide number on the slide, so what we need to do, go to slide master, we cannot set from here. You must go to slide master make sure you go to slide one then go to insert header and footer this is slide number and this is footer apply to all go to normal slides now you can see see there is a name and slide thank you so much see you in the next video